Hi and welcome to the first video of section 2 in coaching. In this video you will learn what is coaching and what's the difference between professional coaching and all the other type of coaching. In the end you will learn what is the GROW model. First, I want you to think, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word coaching and coach? Is it sports, like a tennis coach or your coach at the gym? or like X Factor and The Voice and like a vocal coach or maybe banking and finance and a finance coach. We use the word coaching and coach daily in many different professions. However, professional coaching has nothing to do with all these professions. Don't think that coaching is an extraordinary way of saying that you have loads of questions and myself as a coach, I know everything, so I'll, ask, I'll answer all of your questions like this. That's not, that's not coaching. That's magic. As well, don't, don't, don't mix coaching with consultancy and mentoring and training. Yeah, they have some similarities, however, they're completely different. I'll give you an example. So if you go to a therapist, a CBT therapist, cognitive behavioral therapist, you will have a problem and he will try to stop your negative thoughts in order to change your behavior. So in other words, he's actively advising you. So he's there, he's trying to give you techniques and a way to change your behavior. Let's think of a finance, a finance coach. So he's an expert in finance and again, he will give you advice in retirement, in your loans, and general advice on how to manage your money wisely. Again, he's active and he's giving you a lot of advices. A professional coach will never give you an advice. A professional coach will focus on you. So professional coaching is aiming to like unlock the potential to maximize your own performance. What do I mean by that? So you will you will choose a topic and then you will try to set goals and your coach will try to will try to make you think according to your emotions, thinking and your known knowledge. So try to make you combine all these skills and knowledge that you have in order to solve the problem yourself. So he's not going to give you any advice. He's just going to be there to inspire you. So let's watch a video in order to understand that in more detail. Tom is working on a task that has been discussed and agreed from last week. He has a problem, so he's go to his manager. I did what we agreed, but it's not working. You must have done something wrong. Instead, try to download the files in your desktop. Advice. So, that's not coaching. Scene number two. I did what we agreed, but it's not working. Tom, I just have to go on a meeting, so see if you can find exactly when and when the blockage occurs, and I will be back to help you and find a solution. Ten minutes later. I've got a solution. It's working fine now. Great. What did you do? It affect anything else? There was just a problem in downloading the files. No, no other effects. Great. See what you can do if you try. The manager in the video embraces two key principles in coaching. Responsibility and awareness. If you notice the manager didn't give him any advice. She tried to motivate him and make him think and resolve the issue by himself. As well, she wasn't upset or irritated that he couldn't complete the task. However, she rewarded him in the end and she said that, look, you're more capable than you think. So let's look at the GROW model together. What is the GROW model of coaching? So GROW stands for G for go, R for reality, O for options, and W for what next. What is the purpose 
of this conversation. What is your goal? The goal refers to the outcome. And there's, there's two different types of goals that the client can set. The overall objective, like what do you want to achieve? And the outcome for the session. What does your client want from the meeting, from this particular meeting? And you can set a goal, for example, imagine you want to be more healthy. If you have a goal, then you will need to establish your starting point. This refers to the R, reality. So you can ask questions, what is happening now? What skill and experience do you already have? What have you already tried? And how do you feel about the current situation? Once you know the goal and the reality, it's time to consider the options. You can start by identifying a number of options. And you can ask questions like, what are the options you might take to reach your goal? And then, what else? And if you could do anything, what would you do? You can start evaluating your options. What are the pros and cons of each option? And how would you like to evaluate this? W. W refers to, refers to what next? And here is, where, here is where action is agreed. And to be honest, if no action is agreed, it's not a coaching session. Here you can ask questions such as, can you summarize what are you doing and by when? What challenges you might face? How will you overcome them? Who will you get support from? And when shall we review the pro the grow model in practice? So if your client set a goal of, I want to be more healthy. So the reality at the moment would be eating junk food and maybe he or she tried already to add more healthy meals into his or her diet. And then the options would be what are the pros and cons of each option? So salad, yes, is more healthy, however, is not filling. And then avocado is extremely nutritious, however, not really tasty. If we look on the way forward, how will you overcome your challenges? Well, the client may be think avocado is not that tasty, but I will combine it with brown bread, tomatoes and seed to make the taste richer. In the next videos, you will learn what is a good coach and all the different questions, open question, closed question, and what sort of question should you ask.